All right, hi, I'm Patty Berry. I'm a senior geologist and project manager with Southern States Energy Board. I'm gonna tell you a little bit um, about our organization first. We are an interstate compact that's composed of governors and state legislators from 16 Southern states, two territories, and a presidential appointee. And our organization focuses on fostering collaboration and innovation. Am I too short for this? <laughs> SSEB works to advance uh, energy policies, technologies, and practices uh, regarding the region's energy efficiency, affordability, and re reliability. Our work is supported by the U.S. Department of Energy, so we always have this uh, acknowledgement and disclaimer. And this particular project has over 20 research partners and vendors, and we couldn't do the project without all of these people. So to give you kind of an idea of where the project is located, I have a map of the entire United States and you can kind of zoom in and see exactly where in the southeast uh, plant Radcliffe is located. Um, so the ECOS phase three project builds on our phase two results that successfully demonstrated that the subsurface adjacent to the Kemper County Energy Facility has the potential to store commercial volumes of CO2. I think Richard touched on that um, briefly. And then our phase three program, which is where we are now, our primary goal is completing the site characterization and support of a class six UIC permit to construct. Um, to meet these goals, the partners have completed a regional characterization and a detailed injection site characterization. Those are all necessary for the permit and you'll be hearing all the details of this uh, in just a few minutes from other people. A few of the significant accomplishments for the, the project is um, during phase two, we drilled three characterization wells and then additional three in phase three. Uh, we identified uh, and characterized three storage reservoirs. We did two seismic surveys there was a CO2 capture assessment at the plant and our permit applications were submitted. In order to move from phase three to phase four, the Department of Energy identified some additional things that we've included as our phase three to four readiness, which will be additional pipeline feed study, a storage development plan and a community benefits plan. And that is it.